drowning bear was begging people to save him. What happened next will break you down. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. What would you do if, let's say, your beloved dog was drowning in the ocean? I'm sure that most of you would rush into the water to save your pet without giving it a second thought. It's no wonder, given the strong bond between people and their pets. But what if a 20-kilogram bear was drowning? Yeah, guys, you heard that right. That's a whole different story. But believe me, the events I'm going to tell you about today deserve not only your attention, but also your respect. It all started on an ordinary sunny day when a large black bear wandered into the yard of a private house in Florida. It's become common nowadays for bears to go into residential areas in search of food, especially given the fact that people are building more and more, taking over the territory that once belonged to animals. So this wasn't an isolated case. Predictably, the house owners were very frightened and immediately called the police to get the bear out of the yard, but the latter was reluctant to leave. The furry animal was happily roaming the yard and investigating garbage without paying any attention to people. The police watched the wild guest for a while and then made the decision to try and shoot him with a tranquilizer dart. It's common practice and does no harm to the animal, allowing them to transport it to a safe place at the same time. But back then, no one could have imagined that an ordinary call would soon turn into a real operation with the plot of an action movie. After the dart hit the bear, the substance kicked in a little, making the animal confused. He panicked and, without realizing what was going on, ran straight for the ocean, got into the water and began to swim. The further he got, the more effect the tranquilizer had on him. The bear kept on swimming until he began to fall asleep and started to drown. When the unfortunate creature was already deep in the water, the tranquilizer fully kicked in, putting him to sleep in the middle of his swim. It seemed that the animal was about to drown and nothing and no one would be able to help him. But then something truly unexpected happened. A Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission biologist, Adam Warwick, came to the call together with the police. His task was to supervise the animal's safe transport, and when he saw what was happening, he realized it was time to act, and it wasn't something he could do. By protocol, Adam quickly took off his clothes and shoes, ignoring the other participants of the process, rushed into the water to save the huge predator. All in all, it took him a few seconds to get close to the enormous bear. They were one-on-one. -on -one. The eyewitnesses were simply shocked by everything that was happening. A lot of onlookers gathered around, taking videos with their phones. It was a decisive moment. I felt an adrenaline rush in my blood. When I saw the bear drowning in the water, Adam would later say, I understood that the animal was not to blame. It was us who had invaded his territory, and we couldn't let him drown like that. So I decided to act. Adam was fully aware of the fact that the two-meter bear could simply tear him apart in a matter of seconds. But this didn't stop the fearless biologist. When the man swam up to the bear, the beast could hardly stay afloat. He barely controlled his paws and was gradually submerging. Nevertheless, he'd had the strength to inflict a fatal blow. The bear looked scared, but at the same time, this huge wild animal seemed to understand that Adam had come to aid him. The biologist's reaction was quick. He grabbed the bear by the neck and held his head above the water. In his turn, the bear seemed to trust the two-legged stranger. He didn't fight the human, but rather tried to cooperate. Adam was having a really hard time, but he didn't give up. Everyone held their breath, watching the man drag the 200-kilogram bear to the shore. Adam continued to support the groggy bear while the animal just looked at the human in surprise. It's also worth noting that the man was virtually uninjured except for the scratches from the bear's paws and some cuts from stepping on a seashell. When Adam and the bear were already near the shore, other team members came rushing. Adam helped the animal to the shore, after which the rescue team loaded him into a pickup truck with the help of an excavator and took the animal back to the Osceola National Forest. The bear watched everything with his eyes wide open. He was very nervous because he could sense that something was wrong. At the same time, he couldn't control his body. But when Adam approached the truck and stroked the bear, the predator calmed down and laid down peacefully, as if realizing that his rescuer only wished him well. After the bear came to his senses, he looked much better than he did in the water. Adam's team made sure that the bear was all right. When the predator became more active, he walked around a little and, as if expressing his gratitude to his rescuer, circled the vehicle a few times before disappearing into the thickets of the reserve. Soon, the journalist covered the story of the unfortunate bear and the brave man who risked his life to save the animal on national television. The man's act was appreciated by millions of people around the world. 
I just understood that he needed to be rescued. I also knew that I was taking a great risk, but that didn't stop me. If I hadn't stepped in, the bear would have simply drowned and it would be our fault, Adam said. Of course, I couldn't let that happen, the hero later said. But at the same time, Adam says that people shouldn't try to do it on their own because the bear is a dangerous predator with extremely powerful paws. So that's today's story. Friends, leave your comments.